Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy. Alright guys, so today I'm going to be doing the gaming review for the Kindle Fire HD. Um, as most of you know, you guys are kind of normally used to the games I use. However, for this one, I'm only going to be using games that I either got free from the Kindle for the free app of the day, or um, I've just uh, tried to sideload and it actually worked. Uh, so let's start with uh, the very basic game, Angry Birds in Space. Um, so we're gonna start with uh, this game and just kind of see at the quality and everything like that. See how it looks. And uh, one important thing to note, and you guys know I'm very picky on this, is the speakers. The speakers are great that they're the first stereo speakers that I've seen on a seven-inch tablet that are um, complete opposite sides. However. They have the same problem that the Sony tablet have, and that is that you end up covering them most of the time when you hold the tablet. What would have been ideal is if they had it like this, and if they allowed you to rotate it like this, because then the speakers are on the top and away from your hand. However, this is not the case. So it's just one, one pet peeve with um, the Kindle Fire HD that I've immediately seen that I was very annoyed with. So now, let's just kill some pigs. Uh, one important thing is uh, to remind people that to Kindle Fire, you tend to pay for more apps and more games. So what I mean by that is is uh, the game that came out after this, The Bad Piggies, is only a paid for game. There is no free version, whereas if you had uh, another 7-inch tablet from that's Android, you would get the free HD version. So that's another thing that kind of like, that you generally pay more. Uh, for Kindle, uh, for the Kindle Fire app. So, just a reminder that you do. Alright, so as you can see, the game looks pretty good. No kind of lag or anything like that. So, let's go back. And we'll let this one finish. Go back. And we'll quit it so that it stops. And then we're going to go into the X-Men game. All right. Now, one thing I really don't like about this game in the tablet is that the PS3 controller does not work with this one. So, it really is hard to navigate this sometimes with the joystick that it comes built in with. Now, they do make those uh, joysticks that you can buy separately, but it's just one thing I noticed. It was a little bit difficult, kind of moving up and down, especially when you're trying to dodge things. Oops, sorry. So as you can see, there's no real lag or anything like that, but it's just a little bit uh, difficult to navigate with the base controllers this game comes with. Um, now, this is usually rectified by using a PS3 controller or other, but um, not in this case. And I died. But as you can see, no real lag on it at all. It, it's very fluid. It's just the joystick right here that's more of the problem. But that's not really a fault of the Kindle. It's just a fault that it's not compatible with the PS3 controller. So, there we have it. Alright. And now let's go to Frontline Commando. Now this is another free game. The X-Men is normally a paid for game, for those of you who are wondering. Um, and Frontline Commando is a free game, so that's one of the good things. I tried to get uh, as many free games as I could uh, to kind of demo. Uh, the company Glue generally has the best free games available, and that's GLU if you just want to search for that on the uh, App Store. All right, so go here. And I'm going to turn this down a little bit. 
And as you can see, when you're not covering it, the speakers are really loud, but that's what makes this a little bit disappointing that it's kind of like, well, you have good speaker quality, but you just, you know, didn't. Oops. As you can see, really good graphics, you know, nothing standing bad about it in terms of graphics quality. And there you go. So, very good. Uh, not too much lag uh, when it comes to the actual gameplay. Uh, more of the lag that you see from the Kindle Fire uh, lies uh, more in transitioning between apps and uh, more web browsing than regular um, regular gameplay. So that's an important thing to note. Also, with uh, most of the glue games, you do have the um, feature to sync everything so that it's synced online, which means that uh, if you ever get another Kindle Fire later on, that it will be synced. So that's the kind of cool part about it. It uses an app that you can download separately. I forget what that's called. I'll try to leave it on the description if I can uh, remember it. But, so uh, this game played pretty well. And now let's go ahead and check out uh, the last game, which will be uh, Blood and Glory Legends. Now this is probably one of the uh, best graphical games, and especially since it's free. Um, on the previous Kindle uh, Fire, I had said that the best game you could probably play was, I believe it was a game called Gunshot, it was a western game. Um, this is probably the best free game that's available for uh, this tablet. And right now you'll see why, when you see the kind of graphics quality and everything that um, is on this game, it's definitely noticeable why it's the better one to go with out of all the free games. Alright. And it's just telling me about the daily bonuses. I tried to uh, skip all the tutorial stuff so that it wouldn't seem boring for you guys when I'm playing it. And uh, now we'll see how uh, good this game looks after the tutorial levels. Alright. And let's fight. Okay. I guess I didn't skip all the tutorial levels. And one more. And there we have it. So you can see the detail and the quality, very good graphics. And just really good quality. It really makes a good um, visuals for the HD screen that you have. All right, um, that was the gaming review for the Kindle Fire HD. If you guys have any questions about any of the games or any of the uh, features or this girl right here, I mean, you know, just let me know. And I'll try to do my best ability to answer those. All right, feel free to ask and make sure to give the thumbs up and subscribe. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy.